Welcome viewers to Better Faith Group of Schools e-learning platform on the subject social studies on the class JSS2 on the topic harmful substances. My name is Mr. Isidamek Bomosa. We are taught, taking on that very particular topic, harmful substances. Look at that word, harm, harmful. Then added to it, substance. Why is it called harmful substances? It's called harmful substances because it is something that is going to add negativity or bring it back what pain, sorrow into a human what body. It's called harmful substances because it's a form of, it's a, not just form, it's a contaminated substance that are harmful to individual at wise which can lead to various diversity which are negative in man. And when you say what harmful substances, it could be in form of food, it could be in form of drugs, it could be in form of uh, cream or unripe fruit or better still, it could be fruit that is what contaminated. And when it is, it becomes harmful to man. And look at, as I have on the board, on the uh, white board behind us, I use the word anything that harmful substance uh, is anything that is contaminated, which threatens, which threatens the safety of man and his environment. And I say it could be food, as I said, say water, okay, drugs, creams, and food. A good example listed here, like I said, stale food. When you say stale food, it could be a form of spoiled food. Expired food or expired drugs. Expired food and drugs are what contam that are contaminated, already expired, are dangerous to what man. So that is why it's referred to as what harmful what substances. Now, a good uh, example again, I haven't mentioned, okay, I use the word stale food. It could also be unripe food. Yes, it's harmful to what man. Then, in addition to that, we have with us here effect of taking in harmful substances. Effect of taking in harmful substances. What are those effects? Number one, we said it could lead to death. Yes, when unripe food is taken, unprescribed drug is taken, <laughs> it can lead to death. You may see it as uh, it's not just, for example, it's not just this fruit, uh, it's partially. Uh, Ripe, when I mean partially, that is, it's a beast ripe. Unripe food is unripe food. Expired food is expired food. Expired drug is expired drugs. Take it anywhere, plus it anywhere, it's expired, it's expired. So it's not expected to be taken. So when you take it, it can lead to death. Number two, it can lead to what? E health and diseases. E health and what? Diseases. When you take alpha substance, it can create a lot of what uh, hazard to you, and it can lead to what ill health and what diseases. Four, it causes body weakness. Yes, it causes body what weakness. When you're taking harmful substances, it is bound to work against your what anti uh, uh, the soldiers in your system that fight against every form of illness. And when this does happen, there is bound to be what body what weakness. It's one of the effects of what taking harmful what substances is very bad taking harmful substances it can lead to what body weakness four it also affect the growth of a child yes it can affect the growth of a child it can lead to delay in the what growth of a child what is that effect of taking in of taking in harmful what substances i will say that what are the measures or what are the ways through which these harmful substances can be prevented or, yes, or stopped? We said number one, we should avoid eating stale food. Stale food. As I already mentioned, when we talk about the word stale food, it could be that the food is poet, it could be that the food is expired, it could be that the stale food is not properly warm, it's not even warm. So, you should try as a better retailer, we should avoid eating stale food or better still ensure the food 
is warmed before you eat. Ensure the food is warm before you eat so that you can prevent any form of outward substance. It shows to us now that when the food is not warmed, maybe you would cook it uh, in the evening and early hour the following morning, early morning you need to warm it and you didn't warm. You want to eat, it's not proper. Or you cook in the morning, you didn't warm in the afternoon or evening, you want to eat, it's not proper. So better ways to prevent or to avoid harmful substances in our body is to what eat uh, so what avoid eating what stale food, better still ensure you warm that food before you eat. Number two, we should ensure that our food are well cooked. Very, very important. Some person just hurriedly, especially one or two, just cook it, especially like the rice. They call it fried rice. And you just put the rice in your mouth, it's like stone. No, you should ensure that our food are well cooked. Otherwise, it will what? lead to a problem inside your body. And when it causes, when it leads to that problem, it can what result to something bad. So one of the ways to what stop that or prevent it, we should ensure that our food are well cooked and prepared in hygienic environment. Yes, prepare well prepared in hygienic what environment. Number three, we should not we should not allow children to play with harmful substances. We should not allow our children to play or those your kids, your younger ones around you to play with what harmful what substances. Okay, four, avoid taking all prescribed drugs and expired drugs. All prescribed drugs. Don't say you have medic. You just show you just carry a paracetamol. You swallow. You just carry a paradox extra. You swallow. All prescribed drugs. Stop it. These are the ways by which we can prevent what harmful substance into what our body. Five. Ensure safety measures by removing harmful substances out of the reach of children. You do what? Ensure safety measures by what? Removing harmful substances out of the reach of what? The children. Very, very important. Remember, as I earlier said, when you talk about harmful substances, harmful substances are those contaminated uh, substances that are already contaminated, found in our environment, which are dangerous to man and also serve as threat to man and his what? Environment. I earlier said it could be food, it could be drugs, it could be water, etc. So we are also saying that apart from that, the effect is that it leads to death, as you can see on the whiteboard, it leads to death, it leads to what uh, delay, or it does not allow the child to what growth or or experience growth in any capacity, and it can also lead to ill health and diseases. Remember, as Avelia said, ways of preventing these harmful substances is that we should avoid eating food or stale food, but we should ensure that we warm food before eating. Number two, the food should be properly cooked. It should be properly what cooked before eating. We should not take what all, all prescribed drugs or expired drugs into our system. They are harmful, they are dangerous, they are bad. Having said that, always ensure your pen and paper, put down these things. Pen and paper very very important. Before we go, we have with us here practicing what exercise. This practice exercise we have on the board. We say number one. The elements that are dangerous to human health is called dash. The elements that are dangerous to human health is called dash. You will complete that statement. <laughs> number two. What are those ways of preventing harmful substances? What are those ways? Of preventing harmful what? substances. Three, harmful substances can lead to dash. Harmful substances can lead to dash. Also complete that statement. You can see that there is uh, a spot created for that. Number four, measure four examples. Measure four examples of harmful substances you know. Measure four examples of harmful substances you know. With this, I say thank you, God bless you, remembrance.